In the last video I did an unboxing for the DMR Vault V2 Brindog flat pedals. At the time I decided I, I was going to use flat pedals for my new bike, but after doing the, the video I had second thoughts and I decided I wanted to use SPD pedals. So I returned the, the DMR Vault pedals and um, after doing a bit of research I decided to purchase these um, Look Extract Raised Carbon TI. SPD pedals. I also looked at the, the Shimano SPD pedals. I can't remember the model number. I'll, I'll put it up here somewhere. The ones I like the look of, uh, there seem to have been some issues around, um, around the seal. So apparently the, the seal kept popping out, uh, which was a bit off-putting for me. I was also looking at the, um, the Enrage version, a slightly larger pedal with pins on it, but I decided against it in the end because it was primarily designed for enduro and downhill racing. Strangely enough, the, the box does say Extract Enrage on them, but when you look at the, the barcode, um, it clearly says um, Race Carbon TI. So I thought I'll just do a quick unboxing of these, and then I will do another video where I, I'll take the bike out for a spin and uh, give you my thoughts. As you can see, it's got the wrong name, but the actual pedal is the Extract Race Carbon TI. So, what's in the box then? Carbon pedal here. To be honest, no, I was mostly because of that kind of gold colour that I really wanted the, the titanium model. Weight wise, it's, it's not feather light. You know, there's a bit of weight to it, but it's not heavy either. I'll weigh both up in a, in a, in a bit. Let's see what else is in the in the box. A set of cleats, really. One quick thing, somebody had mentioned it before. These don't really move that freely. Don't know if you can see that in the video, but I'm spinning them and there's quite a bit of resistance. Um, I don't think it's an issue. I think when you're pedaling, uh, it's not something that gets in the way, but uh, just something to bear in mind. So let's get the right side pedal first, put that on. So that's coming out to 146.9 grams. The, the left side, there you go, 147 grams exactly. Let's also just weigh the cleats as well, 55.7 grams. Let's weigh everything together. So you're looking at 349.5 grams. So a couple of days have passed and uh, I've now installed the pedals on my new bike. Uh, as you can see they, they look quite good. I guess my biggest concern was going to be around can I get my feet unclipped easily out of these compared to the SPD SL pedals that I used to use before. And I'm very pleased to say that yes, these are much, much easier compared to the SPD SL pedals. I don't know if it's a look cleat thing, uh, but these are Shimano SPD compatible. So maybe in the future, I'll, if I get another pair of shoes, I will get some Shimano cleats for those and uh, do a comparison. But so far, I've been really, really pleased. One thing I'm slightly struggling with right now is um, getting my feet clipped in which is um, totally the opposite of what my problem was before and the main reason for that is because the SPD cleats are, are recessed into the shoe rather than sticking out as they used to do with the SPD SL pedals so I'm finding it a little bit challenging trying to position my foot properly and find that position where I push my foot down just to clip in uh, I, I guess that would just take time um, so I think I'll just kind of wrap it up there. 